And here's probably a better representation so you guys can kind of like hear it again closing up and ZLM looks super cool. Let's actually get into what's happening with the Camaro and the Ford Raptor, right? You can just do the simple math, 70,000 plus 50,000, you're just over 100,000. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and you can see we are back in the garage and yes, there is a new garage door. We will get into that momentarily. But of course, the main topic of today's video has to pertain to the ZL1 1LE and the Raptor, which is not here. The Raptor right now is getting a new wrap, completely taken apart. Here's a picture of it right now. Like there's no headlights or anything, fender flares, everything's taken off because again, it's getting another wrap. And I accidentally made a mistake on the wrap. I was meaning to do a certain color and then I ordered the wrong color because I didn't look at it closely enough. And so yeah, the wrap's actually different than what I thought it would be, but it still looks good. So other than that, let's uh, I'll show you guys the garage door first and then we'll talk about the other stuff. Now this is very important. You guys will remember from my other videos, whenever I opened the garage door, it was super loud. Like you still hear stuff, but it doesn't like, it's not crazy loud like it was before. It's just so much better than it used to be. Here's probably a better representation. So you guys can kind of like hear it again, closing up and ZLM looks super cool. But you guys will notice the exterior of the garage looks identical to what it did before. And again, keeping the theme the same, just doing something that's a little bit newer. And there's Zora there. He's probably gonna start barking at us in two seconds. But yeah, kept the theme the same on the garage door. It's just made out of a lighter composite material. So it weighs half as much as the old one. So then it's gonna last a lot longer for the mechanism that pulls it up, but it still looks identical to what it used to before, which is cool. Well, now that all the uh, garage stuff is done, let's uh, actually set off in the ZL11 LE because I haven't driven it in a while and we'll kind of use that to give you guys some cool scenery and talk about the important stuff we need to talk about in today's video. Well, let's get into the main topic of today's video, which is obviously me selling the ZL11 LE and the Raptor. Now, in terms of the time frame of me selling these, it's not gonna be like instantaneously right away. You guys will understand once I start talking about everything that's happening. But the only reason why I would ever sell either of these cars is to get something cooler. And that something cooler has finally been released, pretty much. So if you guys don't already follow them on Instagram, go follow Ram Trucks. And this is the official Instagram of obviously Ram Trucks. And today they released a teaser video. And in the teaser video, it just shows a huge cloud of dust. It says TRX on it and you just hear this big gnarly V8 rumble for a second and you just see the dust kind of circle around, but you don't see a truck. What does that mean? <laughs> well, that means that obviously they're uh, out in the desert having fun with the TRX, but more importantly, they had a caption with this Instagram post and the caption said, coming late, sum or coming late summer of 2020. It's June right now, late summer is gonna be the end of August. So that means that we're only about two months away from the truck being released. And if we're only two months away from the truck being released, that means that I've got to uh, offload what I have now to get that truck, right? Now let me explain things a little bit deeper and it'll kind of make more sense. So first off, pricing for the TRX hasn't been released, which is super important. But from the price of Hellcats currently, and more importantly, the price of the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, I am pretty safe to assume that the truck's gonna be about $100,000. It just makes sense, right? The Trackhawk is the closest thing right now that um, Dodge Ram Jeep or Chrysler makes that is you know, similar to a Hellcat truck. It's an SUV, it's got all wheel drive, it's got the Hellcat engine. So I think that makes sense. But I think that it's still gonna be more expensive than the Trackhawk because trucks, when you add like the wide body aspect that a Baja truck's gonna have, and that's what the TRX is supposed to be, a wide body Baja truck. When you add that aspect to it, and then you also add, obviously, all the suspension that's associated with being a Baja vehicle, then, yeah, things do get pretty expensive pretty quickly. And so on top of that, and those people are just waving at me. Sorry, I didn't wave back. Hopefully you see this video and understand why I didn't wave back. But anyways, just because it's a Baja truck and it has a Hellcat engine, I just think it's gonna be way more expensive. I think it's realistically gonna be $100,000 base price. And then after options, it'll probably be 110 to 120. That's just my guess. Hopefully it's less money. Guys, hopefully it's less money, but that's my guess. So coming back to my cars, I bought this ZL1 for over $50,000. And my Ford Raptor I bought for about $70,000. So you just do the simple math right there and that's about $120,000. 
Hopefully that's making sense to you guys. You go, okay, so right now, Ben Hardy has about $120,000 worth of cars. He wants to buy a truck that's probably gonna be about $120,000. So it makes logical sense to trade both of them in. There's a Tesla behind me. So you guys know things are about to get real. Just kidding, Teslas never race because they're like, oh, I'm almost out of charge. I can't race you. And so, uh, yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. Man, I am struggling so much today. Like, you guys can see the huge, like, jump in distance in the video because I have been trying to talk and I just can't. Continuing on, let me go over the time frame of things and then we'll kind of discuss what I'm kind of thinking for myself personally. So, here's what I think time frame. I think that the TRX, since they're saying late summer 2020, I'm guessing that's when you'll be able to order the truck. That's not when the truck will be on dealer lots. My best guess is that at the end of August, dealerships will actually be able to order trucks. So let's say you do put in your TRX order at the end of August. Then my assumption is just like all other vehicles, it's usually about eight to 12 weeks for the vehicle to get built and shipped out. So if you put the order in at the end of August, you're not gonna probably get a vehicle until the end of November roughly, or maybe if you're lucky, the end of October. And so if you kind of take that timeline into consideration, I've got quite a bit of time that I'll still have with the Raptor and the Z01. And so I'm still gonna have a ton of fun with them. And I feel like at that point, I would have had both the vehicles for so long. I mean, at that point I would have had the Raptor for about a year, the Z01 not as long, but sports cars, they kind of lose their fun quicker than trucks, in my opinion, at least. And so at that point, I, I'll just wanna get rid of them anyways. So that's why I'll sell both of them rather than just one of them. So hopefully you guys can see from the monetary standpoint that it makes sense, right? Just get two vehicles that are probably be worth about the same value as the new vehicle, trade them both in. So then I'm not increasing the amount of money that I'm out for a vehicle until I obviously buy another sports car. So from the monetary standpoint, makes sense. And then from the timeline standpoint, it also makes sense. And I guess another thing I wanna transition into is how I said that I want the vehicles to be different. And what I really mean by me wanting the vehicles to be different is right now I have a twin turbo V6 Raptor, which I love the turbo noises. I love the V6 noises, even though people give it crap. It's got its own unique soundtrack. The Z01 has nice supercharged V8 noises. Absolutely love it. Again, it's its own unique thing. I get in the car, I hear the V8 rumble, I hear the supercharger whine, it's so much fun. But if I kept the Z01, I would only have um, supercharged V8 noise in my garage, which I know that you guys are like, boo hoo, first world problems, but it just doesn't make sense for me personally because I love that I can get into my Raptor and hear that noise, hear that soundtrack, and I can get my Z01 here, the other soundtrack. I don't wanna hear the same soundtrack. And I know there's a little bit of difference in sound between the Hellcat engine and between this, but they're both supercharged V8s at the end of the day. And they're actually both 6.2 liter V8s even though one's a Hemi, one's not, but still, they're super similar. And so, when you think about things from that standpoint, it, it kind of makes sense that I want something different in the garage. And the other thing is the acceleration. Again, the TRX is gonna have 700 horsepower. It's gonna be about as quick as this is zero to 60, I imagine. And so, when I'm around town, it's gonna feel the same. Yes, it's a big, heavy truck. It doesn't corner like this, it doesn't have the downforce like this but it's gonna feel so similar. This car weighs over 4,000 pounds, believe it or not. It's gonna feel so similar that I'm gonna be like, eh, I'd rather just drive the truck so I don't have to worry about scraping my front splitter, right? So they just, I feel like they'll be, just feel too similar from a garage standpoint for me. And so if you guys are wondering what I'm gonna be looking at car-wise after I get the TRX. So when I get the TRX, I'm not gonna have another car for a while because it doesn't make sense to buy a sports car in the winter unless I can get a really good deal doesn't happen that way anymore though but if I could get a really good deal in sports car in the winter I will if not I'll wait till springtime at least maybe summer till I get something and I want to get something that's really lightweight so what I mean by really lightweight is I mean as low as obviously you know like Lotus Elise weight where they're only like 2,000 pounds but I probably won't get a Lotus Elise but probably something in the 3,000 pound range and I think that that'll make the sports car just feel so much different than the truck that it'll actually still be exciting to drive. And if you guys are wondering about engines, I'm gonna be pretty open after I have the TRX. I'm gonna be open to getting, you know, maybe something with a V10 or a V12. V12s are probably gonna be way too expensive, but I mean, at least I can throw out the idea so I can look cool on YouTube, right? 
But you know, there are some V10 cars that are relatively affordable. And the other thing that I could look at is getting something with a flat six, obviously Porsche, getting something with a turbocharged six cylinder. So I just kind of swap, right? My truck now has a V8 and then the sports car now has a V6 or something like that. I could go that route for sure. And so I'm just gonna get something that's lightweight most importantly and something that's different. I guess I would be open to a turbocharged V8 because those sound different enough compared to a supercharged V8 that I'd, I'd be open to it. So like think uh, McLaren, for example, for a turbocharged V8. And I guess that that's just really where I'm at. Sorry that I kind of like dragged this on and my mind is all over the place because I, well, I'm tired today. I wasn't expecting to make a video. Ram, if you hadn't made that donut video, I wouldn't be making a video today. That's just, that's just how it works. But that's my whole thought process with everything. That's what I think. So if you fell asleep during any part of the video, a quick recap, the TRX is supposed to be released in some fashion at the end of the summer this year. My best guess is that they're gonna stick with that design that they said where they're gonna do the 700 horsepower. They're gonna do a wide body like the Raptor. They're gonna do the Baja suspension, all of that. And the next thing to get into is obviously the pricing. I am guessing that the TRX is going to be a six figure truck. I am most likely going to trade in both vehicles on it so that I kind of have a more unique garage by getting something different. And yeah, I feel like that sums things up. I'm super excited. And I guess that I'll officially be coming back to Ram once the TRX comes out, which a lot of you guys will love because even though the Raptor is so much cooler than the Rebel from a suspension standpoint, I miss the Ram interior. I miss the Ram infotainment system. I miss a lot of stuff with the Ram. So it'll be nice kind of like upgrading with the interior and all that kind of stuff. It'll be nice going back up in the world in a, in a way, right? In a way. But I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below if you're thinking about getting the TRX. And yeah. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe. I'll see all of you in that next video.